Hello and welcome back to We Are Crafted in His Image. This is Tammy. Um, today we are on our last project for the March Cocoa and Crafts class and we are going to make this super cute uh, birthday card. It says happy birthday. I uh, hope it's sweet. And um, yeah, let's not waste any time. We're going to go ahead and get started on it. It's pretty quick to put together. Um, and I apologize, my hands are kind of a mess. We are in the process of um, painting a room and Today was spackle day, so my hands feel like I still have spackles stuck on them here and there. Um, anyway, let's get started. We need a couple of stamps out. Um, I'm going to use these two inks. We need this one here and this one. Oops, upside down. Mm -hmm. Get that on there. And we'll start with that. Oh, wait. We'll do all the blue at the same time. So I'm going to grab my sprinkles and get that out as well while we're at it. Okay. So in your kit, you have two base pieces and the two envelopes. And, of course, one of the envelopes has our little pieces inside it. And I'm going to keep the envelopes out because I'm going to stamp some sprinkles on there as well. We need this square piece right now. The others we can set aside. And we are going to stamp our ice cream, our little popsicle. And yes, we do have to fussy cut this one out, but it's a pretty simple design, so it's not going to take us too much to do. Um, we're going to start with this strange looking shape, and we're going to use it full strength. Um, on here, and actually I probably should have started with the popsicle stick to see how far down I need to go with it. There's one, and our second one. There we go. And then we're going to do, whoop, let me clean up. I need a spritz my cleaning pad is dry there we go get that cleaned up then we're gonna do this one here only this one we are gonna stamp off on a scrap piece of paper so that the colors not as intense as the first one so stamp on here first and then you just kind of want to line it up I'm trying not to get my head in the way you can actually make this a very long popsicle by simply extending this out a ways, but I'm keeping it kind of short. But see how it gives you a different color, different textures? Kind of looks like a sherbet popsicle. Um, there we go. Ta-da! So that part's done. I'm going to go and clean. Set that aside. And now, we do need these two stitched rectangles <laughs> and if you'll notice I don't know if I have one with me I simply used the cutouts from last week's card you see that Ta -da! so don't throw things away when you cut them out we can totally use them all right I'm gonna go ahead and start stamping my sprinkles and I'm going to stamp it all over this piece of cardstock. My husband is home and I can hear him laughing in his office. He must be talking with some of the guys playing games. There we go. And you know what? I think I'm going to bring this in so that I can stamp off the edge a little bit as well. You know, I just realized I'm doing this upside down. This is actually the front, and that is the back. You can kind of tell by the stitching. I don't know if you can see that on the video or not, but let's just redo this side. I don't know. The stitching just looks a little bit neater on this side than it does on the other. You know what? That one didn't come out real well. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Let me do this one quickly. Give 
get lots of confetti sprinkles on there. And really, we're just making a piece of patterned paper. There we go. So there's that. And while I have this out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my envelope and I'm going to tuck it underneath my scrap paper like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on the flap of the envelope. I just think that would be so fun. You can get them a little closer together than I'm getting it if you want, or you can um, get them, space them out a little bit. And there we have cute little pattern flap on our envelope. So let's do the other one, same way. There we go. I just inked my finger up. I'm trying to tuck my sprinkles in. I'm trying not to go across the top because I'm just trying not to get the top of my that paper dirty. But no big deal if it does. There we go. Ta-da! Hey, okay. I don't know if I need that paper anymore, but I'm gonna clean off my sprinkle. And then, so the envelopes are done, get those out of the way. These two pieces are done, get those out of the way. I think we are done with the blue. Yep, next we need the purple, the Blackberry Bliss. So let's pull that in here. And for that one, we are going to need the happy birthday, the round splatters, and the hope it's sweet. Oh, we're not done with the blue, but we'll have to do that that one last, I think, once we um, mount it. Okay, so yes, that's all we need for that. So let me get some blocks here. I'll go ahead and use this one. And all I'm going to do is add some splatters to my popsicle. There we go. Now this one here, remember you want to clean that one really well after you use the Blackberry Bliss so that you try and get some of that ink off before it stains. Alright, this one I think is a little too... I'm going to try this one for the Hope It's Sweet and a bigger block for the Happy Birthday. Alright, so for that we need our card bases. What do I do with them? There they are. And I'm going to do the inside first, I think. So line these up and then hope it's sweet. I'm just going to stamp. You know what? I'm actually going to fold so I can see my crease a little bit better. I'm doing this in the evening and my lighting is not the greatest. It's not too bad, but definitely better when I can have the window open and have sunshine coming in, huh? So, now I can see that crease a little bit better. Make sure I don't, I don't, um, stamp crooked. Sorry, the head is going to be in the way. There we go. There we go. Clean my stamp. Okay, and then on the front, we'll flip these over and we're going to stamp happy birthday across the top of that. Ooh, I inked up my, my um, block there, didn't I? Whew, good. I didn't rock it. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Now we need to put a, let that dry. We need to put some sticks on our popsicles. So let's grab out our two little stick pieces. And this is where you need to pull in your brown, whichever one you're using. I'm going to grab my cinnamon cider again 
and oh I do need this got stuff everywhere here now for the main part of the stick I want to stamp off and then stamp it underneath my popsicle again stamp off stamp it underneath the popsicle that is really <laughs> crooked <laughs> oh, that's okay it's all good it's all good and then the little texture we're going to do that full strength there is a piece of tape on that piece of paper and it keeps sticking to my arm there we go okay stamping is almost finished but the last one we're not going to do until we get our popsicle on to the circle so let me grab my paper snips go ahead and cut out my popsicle and go around and around. I don't mind fussy cutting, especially when it's a simple one like this. One thing if you notice, when I'm cutting, I am not really turning the scissors as much as I'm turning the paper. That just makes it a little bit easier for you to have control if your scissor hand stays put and the paper does the turning. So. Cut off this extra. Get that out of the way. Go down my popsicle stick. And there we go, I have two popsicles. Now, let's get our two circles out, and I am going to use dimensionals to adhere mine on. You can use just regular adhesive if you want, but I'm going to grab a couple of dimensionals. Um, probably going to put one at the top, one at the bottom, and then I'm going to trim off a tiny little piece of this edging to use whoop, down here on my popsicle stick itself. Oh, come on, off my finger, off my finger, thank you. Maybe. Come here, pokey tool. There we go. <laughs> no, I just want the little piece that I cut. Thank you. <laughs> There we go. So we can use that. Let's set that aside and pop off our backings. And I know it looks crooked on the card, but really you're just you're just going to set it in the middle of the of the circle. Just set it right on there. And then we're going to do this one. Oh, that one's already off. Okay. And now we need to stamp the little drip. So grab my tiny little block where to go. Still over here with my thing on it. And where's my Bermuda Bay? Let's get that. And just stamp a little bit of a drip coming down. And it depends on which how how far you want your popsicle to to if you rotate your popsicle more you're going to want it your drip going more that way. If you rotate it a little less, your drip's not going to go. Does that make sense? See? So, follow your gravity with your drip. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now, let's put everything together. We have our, there they are, there they are. Let's get some adhesive on the back of these. Get my adhesive out. I actually have not craft in a little while, so this feels kind of good being back in the crafty corner again. Well, actually I have craft. I just haven't been paper crafting. I've been baking and working on projects for church and several other projects, just not not paper crafting. 
Okay, now this goes in the bottom, and what I want to do, move that out of my way, is basically just get an even border on those three sides, okay? So I'm just going to try and eyeball that that is pretty even there on those three sides, okay? Then I'm going to do the same thing on this one. There we go. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my adhesive again. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive right along this middle section, right above your blue line. Then I'm going to take the ribbon that we have in the kit, and I'm going to set my ribbon along the top of that blue piece of cardstock. And I'm going to wrap it around the inside of my card. Come back around to the front and again just sticking it to that adhesive that I've already put down and then trim okay and one is ready and now I'm going to do the same thing on this card just put some adhesive try to get as close to that blue as you can put your ribbon down wrap it around and come back up to the front and stick it down. You can trim off that extra if you want to. There we go. That part is ready. And the nice thing is when you open it up, you can even see the ribbon on the inside. Um, and now um, it's just a matter of popping these on. And I'm going to use dimensionals again, but you could glue them straight down. Oh, I put my happy birthday much lower than I did on this one. This one I had it up much higher. So, oh, totally up to you. You can make it lower. Or higher I guess I'm gonna have to just lower my popsicles down on these two to compare to that one there okay let me grab my dimensionals and I have some oh um, what happened here two three four one in the middle And yes, I usually cut my dimensionals in half, but I'm kind of rushing through this one today. Oh, those two stuck together. There we go. Dimensionals out of the way. And my cup. One, two, three, four. Oh, that one's already off. And let's see. The main thing is you want to cover up that seam, so I wouldn't want to put it over, well, even if I put it over there, it still covers it up. But again, I'm going to follow gravity, I'm going to let my drip make sure it's falling down. And there's that one. That card is finished. Ready to go. I need to make about 12 more of these for birthday cards for next month. And here is this one. This one will be tilted a little bit more. There we go. Where's my envelopes? Where did I hide them? Out of the way. We got an envelope, two envelopes, two cards ready to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this project. I look forward to crafting next month when we start a new Cocoa and Crafts. And if you give me a quick second, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of our first project. Oh, I gotta find it. I gotta find it. There it is. Haha, -ha, sneak peek. This is what we're gonna make next month. We're gonna make this little snail. He moves over, and then you open, and you open, and it has chocolates. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I have to say, this was not, a my, not my idea. I used this pattern from another demonstrator, which I will link in that video. But, I look forward to seeing you at our next Cocoa and Crafts class. Until then, God's love and blessings. Bye!